Okay, so I'm going to try and do this one-handed and go through and show what's happening. Uh, what is it? 062596 exit. All right, so geometry, horizontal, EWT, that is east west trapezium according to the service manual basically your horizontal trapezoid so it's at 26 right now right let's make that as high as I can so you see the top folds back and the bottom bows out now if I go to the opposite extreme I mean I'm sure you can assume what's gonna happen I'm gonna leave it at its most you know, or lowest value right now, the service menu, or rather the service manual says that um, you go to the top level of the, of the menu and then you press the power button you know, to uh, make it save the values. <laughs> okay. So, you saw how I had it set before. I set it to zero, meaning the top was as wide as possible and the bottom was as narrow as possible. So, 062596 exit. Let's see what we've got here. Oop. Sixty. Now, why on earth, if I go to the lowest value, would it, you know, go to the almost opposite end of the spectrum? The highest value you can pick is 63. So I assume 0 to 64 are the 64 degrees of, you know, positive or minus, whatever. Anyway, so it decided that when I set it down to 0, it was going to save that value as 60. Now, mind you, I have been in 4x3 mode this entire time. Let's set the trapezoid to 3, maybe. Go to the top, whoopsies, the top level. Press power to shut it off. Power to come back on. <laughs> okay, 062596 exit. I can't do it fast enough one-handed, can I? There we go. New geometry. So I set it to 3, and it's at 63. So... What if I set it to, like, five? Okay. Aha! Ha 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 ha! So, what have we got here? Oh, six, two, five, nine, six. Eh. Thankfully, I've committed the service menu code to memory. So, I set it to 5, and it put it at value 1. I, you know, by, you know, ex experimentation, trial and error, I bet if I set it to 4 and save it, it will save the trapezoid at level 0. So, that's the first issue, right? Now let's adjust this. I believe uh, the setting that I wanted before 
was 27. So 28, 29, 30, 31 is what I should leave it on. And then nothing about this is quick. <laughs> Twenty-seven. All right. So it seems okay, right? Let's shut that off. Turn it back on. Let's make it widescreen. Now, if you look, it's a little wider on the bottom than it is on the top. So let's do oh six two five nine six. Enter. Now, I'm not going to change out of widescreen mode here. I'm going to leave it in widescreen the entire time while I make this adjustment. I believe the settings for uh, widescreen and 4x3 are stored separately because a lot of these values, you know, my... HP, HB, etc., etc., are different when I'm in widescreen mode than when I am in uh, 4.3 or 4x3. So, if my trapezoid is 31 in widescreen, let's bring it down to. Eh, that looks about even. I'm sure there's some other settings I could change to to tighten it up even more, but 27 looks good in widescreen. Theoretically save that. Now, if it's anything like in 4x3 mode, it's going to be... Oh, wait, maybe it saved it. Six, two, five, nine, six. All right, so what do we have? So it saved it. So it saved... Ah, uh, the values, right? So let's turn it off, turn it back on. Now I'm in 4x3 mode again. But, I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, the trapezoid setting seems off. It seems wider on top than it was on the bottom, kind of like it was before I adjusted the trapezoid in 4x3 mode. So let's start the TV in 4x3. And my trapezoid, which should have been 27 after I said it before, and remember I had to go up to 31 because for whatever reason it saves the value as 4 less than what you exit the menu on, it's now 23. <laughs> which is 4 less than the 27 that I set the widescreen mode on. So I don't know where where this difference of four values comes into play, I don't know what it has to do with uh, switching between widescreen and uh, 4x3, but I'll go up to 31 and exit out. My shoulder is starting to hurt. Oh, six, two, five, nine, six, enter, or exit. Twenty-seven. You know, remember I I went to thirty-one and I uh, exited and saved that. So now, when I look at the widescreen value, it's thirty-one. So there's definitely some weird sort of balance that needs to be found between widescreen and four by three mode. And I don't understand why the TV isn't able to keep settings for one mode versus the other. Like, why they're, they're sort of linked together intrinsically. Uh, if anybody's got some insight, it would be really useful and appreciated.